Alright, how you guys doing today? My name is Savage Dan. This is a post commentary. You can tell because you won't hear any clickings of my keyboard or anything like that. But, uh, I played, you know, some Rush. Obviously, it's my favorite game mode in case you guys haven't noticed. Uh, I loved how they, they introduced it with uh, Bad Company. And I just see it really fun uh, to play. But uh, I thought I would do some aggressive recon with uh, the L96 uh, because I wanted to try to show off some of the newer guns that, sh that should be unlocking with... Uh, well, you can unlock now on PC. I don't know if you can on console at all. But you can unlock them now on PC. But these are supposed to be the ones that come with China Rising. Uh, so they came out early. Uh, I don't know. Like Dice, I think, fucked up or something. By the way, this guy is invulnerable. I don't know. It's like... It's like there's a part of the hill in front of them, but there really isn't a part of the hill there. Because I tried a couple different angles and it just kept hitting random things. Like, it showed it was hitting uh, the hill in front of them, but really it wasn't. So, I don't know what was going on. That one hit behind them, just because I thought maybe I was too low or something, but I wasn't. It's just he was in invincible. But, uh, yeah, I, I really like the L96. It has a smooth bolt action. Uh, you don't... It doesn't do any weird, like twist the gun, any shit like that. See, I tried it again and it still didn't shoot him, so I, ga I gave up. I was like, fuck it. He can stay. I don't care. So I just kept moving. <laughs> I was like, you're not w worth any of my time anymore. I give up. But, uh, it has a really smooth bolt action. It has a fast bolt. Um, what I mean by that is that when you shoot a shot, it ends up... The time it takes to bolt another one is really quick. I don't think it's the quickest one in there in the games so far. Uh, I think still the M48-5 probably has that, or the SV-98. But uh, I really, I just, I really like it because it's it's got that mix between good at close range with the, the fast bolt, the the smooth bolt action. Uh, so if you're trying to to bolt it with a, a straight pull bolt while you're aimed still down your scope your scope doesn't do any weird fucking movements you can stay on target with it um it has 11 bullets in a mag it has 10 bullets in a mag and one in the chamber so you can have a total of 11 bullets uh, that's a lot of bullets to use uh, and usually you know if you're doing aggressive recon you want a lot of bullets in your sniper rifle uh, i would I say most times uh, if you're a really good accurate uh, aggressive recon you could use like the 338 and get away with it or not the 338 what the hell's the sniper I used not too long ago it was six shots the scout elite the scout elite is, has only six shots that's a little tough like if you're if you're a good sniper that's six kills but if you're someone like me where you just you randomly go through these spurts of not being able to hit anything that's not good uh, bad yeah, that's really not good. So I like to use uh, snipers with a lot of ammo in them. If I when I play aggressive recon, uh, if I I finally killed that fucking guy. No more hiding for him. But uh, if I play aggressive recon, you know I want something with a lot of bullets in the magazine. If I you know do long sniping, I'm always using the SRR just because the range on that thing is crazy, uh, especially because. I have a 40 times scope, I have a 20 times scope, like, there's no range I can't see. Uh, if you guys have never seen a 40 times or 20 times scope, it's a little fucking ridiculous how far it zooms in in this game. But it, it is for those long range snipers that, you know, that want to shoot. And this guy was out of bounds, I thought I'd kill him, I didn't get anything for it. I was like, oh, he was out of bounds, I looked at my mini map. But, it, uh... It, they're just, they're stupidly powerful. At 700 meters, you can still see the whites of people's eyes with with a 40 times scope. So, you know, the SRR is such a good long-range sniper if you have one of those. And I'm talking long-range, like, 800 meter shots, no problem. 1,000 meter shots, no problem. Uh, especially if you do zeroing. Uh, if you try to zero yourself without using the zeroing, like a good sniper, it's, uh, it's a little... It's a little tough making those long range shots at a thousand meters, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, you probably have to, you know, 
I don't even think you'd be on your fucking mill dots anymore. Shooting at a thousand meters with, uh, by the way, I was showing the, the pull bolt there uh, to show how smooth it looks when you're aimed down sights and you, you bolt your next bullet in your chamber. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's so ridiculous. Like, I don't, if people can make thousand meter shots in this game without zeroing, I, I will applaud you. I'm going to shake your fucking hand because... 700 meter shots for me anymore without zeroing, it's difficult. I could do it in Battlefield 3 because we didn't have the function of zeroing. We got used to the long range shots. Not here, not for me. I got used to the zeroing. I want to fucking zero. They gave me they gave me a function to make sniping at ranges easier. I'm going to use it. Uh, it's, it's kind of amazing. The only thing is, it goes zero I think right to 200 because you know obviously the sniper is zeroed for 100 meters uh, then 300 and then I think I think it goes to 400 then 500 and then it skips to a thousand so anywhere between 500 and a thousand meters you have to zero yourself after you zero to 500 meters which isn't difficult you know you're gonna use depending on the sniper with SRR 71 uh, 700 meter headshot you're at like one and a half mil dots to two mil dots so it's not super difficult it's just it's something that you know again you gotta get used to because they gave us this awesome function to to zero your sniper which I applaud dice for that too because that was a, a genius add-on especially because you can put a rangefinder on your sniper now and it tells you the range in your scope slash on the side of your gun so they added some pretty cool features for sniping I don't know if a lot of people agree with saying it's a cool feature because it, I think people are... It could be seen as just a way to make sniping easier for the people that want to camp at, you know, a thousand meters and snipe people and not help the team. Now, I'm not one of those snipers. Uh, do I do it just to test my ability sometime? Yes. But can I actually kill people? Yes. So, you know, I'm not one of those snipers that just sit back and fire thousands of rounds and never hit a thing I, I actually hit my target uh, if I'm going that full recon mode I'm playing it like a sniper I don't take a shot until I know I can hit my target just because I want to be able to kill as many people as possible without having to move my spot because usually if, if I'm sniping that far range I am picking an awesome spot by the way I was at HVT for the past like five minutes and every time you get a kill as an HVT, you get like extra 15 points, I think, for killing as an HVT. But being an HVT sucks. Okay. It's just god awful. You're a giant target. Uh, it tells you, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's on the enemy, enemy mini map that, you know, you're the HVT and they're supposed to kill you. So it just paints a big ass bullseye on your back. Everyone wants to kill you for the extra points. This guy finally does. I should have shot him earlier. I hesitated, but I don't know why. But it's just being an HVT sucks. I I hate you, other commander. Uh, that streak could have went so much longer if I didn't have everyone trying to kill me. But uh, if I but if I do go in those long range uh, sniper mode, my whole mindset changes. Uh, so that's the thing with games. Uh, I'm one of those guys where if I'm playing a role, my mind changes to that role and nothing but that role. I don't know if that comes from playing competitive where if I'm told something, I do it regardless of what I think. Uh, especially if I'm not like a leader of the team. Like before I switched to the team I'm on now, I was I was considered one of the best players on the team. Now, I'm still one of the best, but I'm not like the best on the team. And I wasn't before, but I was always a starter on my other team. And there was times where I knew when the guy that was calling the shots had a bad idea so I would let him know but most of the time if I'm told to do something my mindset will go to that and only that until you know I get it done uh, it's it's a good mindset to get in actually uh, to be able to listen and only think about what uh, what needs what was told of you to be done and not what you want to do uh, in competitive that's that's a mindset a lot of people I want I don't want to say this but a lot of people don't have it most of the time 
people are out out for themselves. Uh, they want to look good. Uh, I don't really care. I don't know how this guy didn't see me, by the way. I guess he thought I was a friendly or something. I was giggling to myself when I landed on him. He didn't even try to shoot. Just sat there with C4 on him. It's just like he's like, okay, you got me. Kill me. I don't think he realized I was an enemy. Or he probably didn't even see me. But thank God, too, by the way, for uh, snipers having C4. That's, I'm so glad they brought that back. Because you were kind of useless as a sniper if you ran into a tank. Uh, but, yeah, really anything can take down a tank. Now, you can do, you can do damage to a tank with a, a grenade, so... Uh, just like a regular frag grenade, so anything can really take care of a, a tank nowadays, which is awesome. By the way, I was trying to blow this wall out and I missed twice. I don't know how it happened. I don't want to talk about it. But apparently with a sniper, if you don't zoom in and you hear that breath my guy took, if you don't let that happen, your, your shots go all over the place, so you actually have to like... I want to say give yourself a second. Uh, to let your guy actually pull the, s the scope all the way up, which doesn't make sense because sometimes I hit like crazy, ridiculous quick scopes and stuff in Battlefield. So I don't know if it's if it's just random when it happens or if it happens all the time. I don't know when I get lucky with the quick scopes. But it's I just I love sniping in this game. Uh, aggressive recon, full on sniping. It's a lot of fun for me. Uh, it gives me a challenge. I don't want to say the game's not challenging, but Using like an assault rifle or an engineer with you know guns, I know I can kill people with. The game gets old for me really quick, and I don't want the game to get boring or stale for me. So I'm just gonna keep fucking around with you know recons and stuff like that to to keep my mind towards having fun and actually having to try. And I failed so hard right there. I should just fucking shot him. I wanted the knife kill so bad, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope do you guys like commentaries like this more where you don't have to hear, you know, the clicking of my keyboard? I know I, like, I was all over the place, but, you know, that's, that's my mindset all the time. Uh, I never, I'm not one to focus very well. I know I don't have ADD or anything like that, but, um, do you guys like this more? Or do you like my live comms more? Let me know. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed Weaponology tomorrow. Uh, I think for you new people, that's going to be exciting. Uh, for you old people that have seen with Battlefield 3, it's it's coming back tomorrow. But I uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share the video with your friends. And uh, have a good Tuesday. See you guys tomorrow.